Keith left a message. He's uh, helping his grandmother move today, so he's not coming. Really? We just saw it. Danny. <laughs> what, what's, what's going on? Well, he may have told you he was helping his grandmother move, but we were driving by the Cineplex earlier, and we saw him standing in line with you-know-who. I, I don't believe this. He's been blowing us off all week for this guy. Hey, don't get angry at him. And if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. What? Well, this James guy might satisfy certain uh, needs that we can't. Like what? His needs, his urges to be around other people who are black. <laughs> Look, I've been friends with Deke for 10 years. He never said anything about having black needs. Hey, well, it's not something you talk about. I mean, I don't talk about my need to be around other Albanians. You're Albanian? Yes, and I have a lot of Albanian friends. And that's nothing you need to be threatened by, OK? Je te velaim harado besim, which is Albanian for you are my brother, whatever your creed. Wow. How do your people say shut mouth now? OK, I'm trying to help you understand him. I understand fine, all right? Look, I'm Deacon's best friend, and he doesn't have any needs or urges that I can't take care of. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> What's going on there, my brother? Hey, Doug. Did you happen to catch that uh, special last night they had on uh, Malcolm X? Nope. Powerful stuff, man. Powerful stuff. Damn. I got three deliveries in Jersey today. Yeah, it's pretty wild. They were comparing him to Martin Luther King, another great civil rights leader. Turns out the two of them had some pretty different ideas. <laughs> so I've heard. One was very nonviolent. That would be your Dr. King, a great man who Gave us a great day off. What's going on? Talk a little black history. You don't even know white history. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that only a topic you can discuss with your new friend, James? What? Yeah, yeah, I know what you did yesterday. Let, let me ask you, did you really help your grandmother move, or did you and James go to the movies? Actually, both. He helped move my grandma, and then we caught a movie. What's the big deal? Why, why didn't you ask me to help you? I did ask you last week. You said it wasn't your thing. Do you get black urges, Steve? <laughs> I gotta go to Jersey. Enough with the black stuff. No, man. no, no, really. Look, look, James is coming by in a few minutes. Just try and keep it together, will you? It's okay. Look, at first I was upset because I mean you were hanging out with James all the time. All right, look, listen. I know I haven't been around much, but look, me and James got a lot in common. And no, I... it's okay. That's what I'm saying. Look, I get it now. Look, I've been acting like an idiot, and I'm sorry. All right. Uh, then we're cool. Hey, Dick. You ready? Yeah. Oh, and by the way, this is my friend Doug, uh, James Robinson. Hey, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of seconds. I gotta drop off my uh, route sheet. All right. <laughs> so, how do you like delivering for sparklets? No, it's good. I can't complain. I delivered to three different pizza places, and I like my cheese. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, yeah, you, uh, you guys going out to a jazz club tonight? Jazz. Jazz blows. Yeah, I'm more into, like, classic rock, you know, Aerosmith, Van Halen. I'm kind of on an Eddie Money kick right now. I love Eddie Money. <laughs> anyway, we're actually heading up to Regan's. We've got a wing-eating contest tonight. Somebody broke my record, so got to win my belt back. Speaking of which, I'm going to hit the restroom. I'm going to change into my eating clothes. I have eating clothes. <laughs> What's going on? What are you talking about? Did James remind you of anybody? I don't know. Kirby Bucket? Let me give you a few clues, OK? He's a driver who likes his cheese, hates jazz, and is a former wing-eating champion. You went out and got yourself a black dog. <laughs> 